suited for someone from Kalantir. We are very few in numbers at many, many wars, and so a few people hanging together and doing something spectacular is, is kind of what we do. There are many tales of us holding different areas, especially alongside our mid-realm allies at Penzik. And we love to tell those tales, but this isn't one of those. <laughs> this happened at a faraway war that most of you are probably unfamiliar with called Estrella. Yeah, yes. And out in the deserts of Estrella, it gets very dusty and very choky. And so it was that our, when our army marched down to this silt pit where they constructed a fort, our, one of our chief members, Pavel Yosevich, had to stay back because he had choked down too much dust the day before, and his health was not the best. But we went down, sans our beloved Pablo, and fought our best. Now, the, the scenario was thus. You would attack the fort with unlimited resurrections, and then the sides would reverse, and you would try to hold the fort with limited resurrections. And so when we attacked, the plan was just to give yourself up and get a kill if you can. The strategy worked very well, even though we were outnumbered, and eventually the force within was destroyed. And having done this, and having shown our enemies what to do, we thought, well, being outnumbered, this is not going to be a challenge for them. But our allies came up with one clever idea. That was to put Count here at the main gate. Our shield wall was renowned, and because Pavel had come with this, which he didn't often go to Australia War, many people had followed along with him. And so our shield wall was larger than usual, but when our general, Fernando, looked at the size of the gate we would have to hold, he told his men, this is a gate we cannot hold. But we will do our best. We will show them today what Kalantir and the shield wall can do. And with some small allied support, he began to form our defenses, making killing pockets, using every trick that Pavel and others had taught him, to form our shield wall there, and the assault began. And it was that after some several charges, the bodies piled up and were removed, then the bodies piled up again and were removed. And at that point, Fernanda was, told, was heard to say, we need to kill them slower. <laughs> it is the charges that do us the most harm. If we could just keep the bodies pressed in to their space, we would take less wounds. Or kill them twice as slow as the song would say. Because the song, in fact, songs have been written about this battle. Now, you might say, Dolan, songs should be written about a brave battle. Men fighting a desperate fight. But when our forces realized that they had held, held the gate that they weren't supposed to be able to hold. They knelt down and took that silt home with them. But that is not the true miracle. At the Australia War, the kingdom of Aitenveld creates all. And one of their great dukes had built this fort and planned it out. And he came to us with their people and said, Kalantir, for what you have done this day, we would have you rename this gate. We named it for our queen for whom we fought that day. It's known as among us at the, as the Battle of Davis Gate. And that is what a small force can do with the right leadership. Our inspiration in much of this has always been Pavel. And Pavel, though he would have given his life to be there, could not be at the battle. And during the next year, the words of our people came to his ears about how wondrous the fight was. And a great sadness came over. But, a year later, we had a new king, a wise king, Fernando Rodriguez de Falcón. And Fernando called Pavel before him. And he knelt before the falcon throne. And Fernando said to him, Pavel, I have heard that you are sad that you are not at the Battle of Phaedra's Gate. And he nods, the sadness already obvious. Fernando was already shaking his head. Not there. You were there. Every spear point, every shield, you were there. You are the foundation of that shield wall and the teacher of the generals who led on that day, 
Who of us did not learn at your side? Now, I'm told a token was given, a scroll was read, I'm sure it was beautiful, but somehow it was it's hard to hear, because I think the words of that king still rang in our ears. And it was a bit difficult to see, because as we looked on, this great general, this man who had borne so much, Pavel wept, and we, we of Kalantir, wept with him in our joy. 